Tutorial Mittens, and today I have a cage tour video for you all. I will be giving you all a tour of all of my animal cages. Before we get started, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, or if you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but just let me know in the comments what you didn't like and I'll try to fix it in the next video. Also make sure you subscribe down below, it really helps out my channel. I am now trying to get to 300 subscribers, and I'll have something cool in store when I get there too. So now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the adult guppy tank. I have got five male guppies and then the baby female little one. And uh, basically all I have in here, I have the mixed blue gravel. I got like the mixed colored one and then I got another uh, bag of dark blue and kind of mixed them together. And that's what I have here. And then I also have this big tall plant here. I have this little plant, and this little plant, and then I have another little plant here. And then this is just a little fish statue, and then I have this big rock. And then back here is the filter and the heater. This is the baby guppy tank. I got this tank from a yard sale for only $18, and it came with the filter, the heater, the attached thermometer over here, and then the gravel, and then of course the tank itself. So inside this tank, I have this big tall plant here, then I have a littler plant, and then another littler plant, and then the um, pineapple house from Spongebob, and then in here I have a bunch of baby guppies. I don't know exactly how many. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere between 20 and 30, but, excuse me, but, but last time I checked, uh, I had a, over 40. And then of course down here, the gravel is like... Um, the mixed blue, just the regular, like two bags of the regular blue mixed. So this is Yoda's tank. He's my Pac-Man frog. He's in a hole right here. Here he is. You can kind of see him right there. I just missed it in here, so it's still kind of wet. So in his tank, I have this wood log hideout. And then right up above it, I have the humidity gauge and thermometer. And then I have a bunch of reptimoss all around. And then here's his water bot or excuse me, water bowl, and then a little plant back here, and then here's his little heating pad. And then I have it covered with tin foil on the top to keep the humidity in. Here's my guinea pig scruffy's cage. Here I'll turn a light on so you can see a little better. So in here he has his little igloo. He's probably inside of it. Yep, there he is. There's little scruffy. And then here's his food dish, he keeps tipping it over and spilling everything. And then this is the little divider that goes in it. And I just cleaned him and look at this. And then over here it's stained, but over here is like another side with some toys and stuff in it. Like there's that little ball that he's chewed and some toilet paper tubes. Here's my parakeet princess's cage. So as you can see, we have a food dish and a water dish. And then some perches, there's an old perch down there, there's these perches here, and then this plastic perch here with a mirror, and then there's this like forked perch, and then there's like this ring toy, and then a swing, and a little disco ball with a bell on the bottom, and then this little thing turns, and there's bells on all four sides, and then there's a little cuttlefish bone here. This is the last cage I have to show you guys, this is my Durbel Sammy's cage. So it's a bin cage that I made. I actually have a video of making the bin cage. So inside, here I'll take the lid off. Inside she has all her buried and tipped over toys and such. She's in here sleeping. But she's got like this wooden house that she chews on sometimes. She's got her dust bath, which I don't really give her dust because she just kind of throws it out of her thing. She's got her food dish, which I did just give her fresh food this morning, but I'm going to have to do that again. And then she's got her wheel. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.